Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today you can see here I am a 210 combat, but the important thing today we're going to talk about is the 210 detective that I currently am. So, you can see first off, I do have my handcuffs leveled up pretty well. I have a 10% bonus because I have my handcuffs to tier 3, and then I have 10 enchantments, which gives it a boost of plus 4%. So I'm sitting at about a 14% increase when it comes to XP gain. However, I'm still doing criminal or crime den raids that are level 168. That is crazy, crazy low to be at 210 and still do 168 activities. So of course, I want to take a look at other detective profession uh, activities and see which you know, kind of net gain we can get when it comes to gold at the very least, because they're not going to really compare when it comes to XP because we don't have these upgrades and enchantments. So I'm going to stick to the crime den raids for XP, even though I'm way, way over leveled and there's big gaps, but I do want to take a look at this activity called spotting thieves down here, level 191. So we're going to come down here to the activity that is unlocked at level 191. It is going to be the Candace's Candles Spotting Thieves, and it's actually really, really gold, good gold. We're going to do it for six minutes and actually showcase how much gold we get in six minutes. We're going to times it by 10, and obviously that is going to be our gold per hour. It's not going to be a great um, kind of estimation just because, again, the six minutes that we're taking and then times it by 10 instead of doing a full 60, but this is going to give you an idea of how much gold you can actually get per hour doing a level 191 detective activity. One thing I will say before we get started on this as well is to kind of remember that even though I'm level 210, there's a huge gap in activities you can do at this level. So you can see here, if I pull this out, uh, Crime Den Raids is at 219. The previous best thing to do is actually going to be Investigations at 197. So it's a crazy, crazy gap there. Uh, but let's get jumping right into the video. And that's, the, again, this is the latest spotting thieves activity we have available to us. So let's see how much gold we can make. What's nice about this as well is that you're going to get people coming from both different directions here. So first off, we're going to apprehend this guy. Uh, and this will kind of start our activity off. It takes a second sometimes. Stealing is a crime. Of course, if you apprehend the wrong guy, by the way, you will actually get punished for it. So we're getting 14k XP, but the more important part we're going to focus in on this video is, of course, going to be the amount of silver or gold we gain in an hour because we're going to kind of compare it to our previous video on combat gold per hour and uh, it'll kind of give us an idea of what you can actually you know get or achieve with the detective profession there's tons of customers that come from all different directions however sometimes you'll get in a really hot streak you'll get five or six trying to steal at once and you'll be able to apprehend all of them sometimes there'll be five or six in a row where you just literally can't do anything it's just a waste of time but uh we'll see what happens in six minutes here and before we get too much farther into today's video, I do want to make sure you guys realize I could have the expert cape right now, right? And it looks pretty sweet, the expert detective cape. The only reason I do not have it is, I, mean, I just thought this guy might have stole, but I don't think he did. I don't think anyone's actually stole. Maybe I'm missing. <laughs> if, if you guys see anything, um, by the way, getting stolen and me not apprehending, definitely let me know. But this is what they usually look like. They have this little um, behavior and it's very obvious typically. And there we go. So going somewhere, we get their seven silver. But what I was saying is I actually could be getting the expert detective cape, but I don't even have it. Or And I don't also have the watch person level 200 cape because I have no gold. Because I train these doing the one activity I love the most, which is crime den raids. However, it gives you zero gold. And because of that, again, I have such a low amount of gold. And then also I'm enchanting my handcuffs. So I'm at 926 silver at the moment. But uh, our six minutes is coming closer and closer to an end, and I feel like it's been pretty rough, actually. We've gotten pretty unlucky on how many people we've been able to apprehend, so I'm very curious on what our stats will be. So far, it has felt really, really unlucky for this six-minute span, but I will say one thing to kind of note is that this is going to be the best... Um, best action or activity you can do when it comes to detective, because at 490, spotting thieves at the pearl stall is the top activity and i assume it's going to give us quite a bit of rewards i'm sure somebody could calculate it out based on how much we're going up per uh you know the or spotting thief activity but it is just interesting to kind of see that this is going to be the latest latest game activity for the detective profession i actually like the way it kind of works um but i think it's more of an activity you do when you are running by these stalls and you see somebody steal something you just do a quick apprehend and continue running. It's kind of passive XP and passive gold in my opinion. So this is definitely not an activity that I typically do. 
just kind of wanted to give you an idea of how much gold you could make, but it is not looking good. Again, this is feeling like really bad RNG. So I may even drag this out a little past six minutes and uh, kind of do a calculation with what I get there. So hopefully the RNG kind of flip flops back and uh, kind of evens out. It felt a lot more active as well as a lot more people stealing. And I guess that's why it felt so active, but uh, I've gotten like a five customer dry streak again. And it just seems like this activity is not one you actually sit there and do. It's more of something you do on the run. So I definitely wanted to make a video kind of going over that. But uh, maybe we'll try this again later when we have a higher detective level and we can kind of figure out if it does get better. Um, but as of now, like I said, it's, it's kind of cool activity, but it's definitely something I would do passively while you're running through the streets. And if you see it happening and definitely not one I would sit at and continuously do. But there we go. At least we got a couple there, two more. I do want to go over the amount of gold that we've gotten during this, like I said, six minutes and I am actually going to do about an eight minute spree or eight minute look through of content and then kind of do the calculation on how much that would be per hour. But this is looking like it's definitely not worth per hour, but uh, maybe I'll be surprised. Okay. So the results are actually in, and it looks like this activity is not near as bad as it was feeling. I got 701 silver over the span of one hour, which is pretty dang good. If you think about it, my 200 video I did on combat, I only achieved about 800 to 900 silver with, you know, pretty abysmal drops. Yes, but 800 to 900 silver for killing level 200 combat mobs for doing a level 190 or sorry. Yeah. Level 191 activity. I was actually able to achieve 701 silver. And so it's really not that far off. I do hope that detective, uh, does scale a little better. So with a 191 activity, I was able to get, like I said, 701 silver, which is actually pretty good money making for when you're just literally standing here in the street. Again, I think this is definitely an activity you do while you're running through and you don't just stand here and do this all day, but it is actually pretty good money. So that is something we have to look forward to with the detective profession at the very least. I also think it should give us more knowledge points. It's only giving me three knowledge points on average or three and a half, I believe. So that's a little unfortunate. This should definitely give you more knowledge because you're not getting near as many, uh, what would be kills if you're doing combat. But again, pretty good money. If you need money and you have a high detective skill, doing the spotting thieves is not a bad way to get some money quickly. Uh, I am excited to showcase what it looks like because of course, detective is one that I'm going to push at the 490 with pearl spotting thieves excited to see what uh you know how much money we can make with that so thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on we're going to do a lot more of these videos so you guys kind of know what professions do what and how much money you can make doing each and individual profession let me know in the comments below what profession i should do next and uh, maybe i'll work on it thanks again i'll see you all in the next one